A mentally unstable woman named Fatma Shetan. She may have seen him alone, and that's why she took him in. But don't you worry, my dear. The police will find her. I hope they do. Anyway, how are you, my sweet auntie? I was so worried about you. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine, thanks to God. When my memory came back, I left immediately so that my family wouldn't worry. Please don't be angry. Why would I be angry with you? I'm just so happy to see you like this. Hassan is from our neighborhood. I love him like my own son. He is accompanying me. But now I have a request of you. Of course. A soup recipe. What soup recipe? It's for bone broth soup. We also brought you the ingredients. You know, it's thanks to you that I recovered. We'll deliver soup to the poor in gratitude. That's very nice of you. Uh, all right then, we'll make it together. Not we. You'll do it. But I have never made this kind of bone broth soup before. You went to that school for a reason, right? I'm sure you can handle this. It looks like a very special recipe. I... Azra, have confidence. Had you ever fluffed and sewn pillows before? Hmm? <laughs> You're right. Thanks to you, that was a first, sweet auntie. Uh, I keep calling you sweet auntie, you know, but what's your real name? I forgot. I'm only joking. You called me sweet auntie. Let me remain as your sweet auntie. Okay, good, but... Now you should get to work. You need to make the soup in a very big pot. Do you have a pot like this, or should Hassan go get one for you? I mean, I don't have one. Nerman Abla has a pot in which she makes salsa. Shall I go and check on that? All right, go check it out then. Ma'am, we could have made the soup in our kitchen. Why are you making her do it? This is going to be Azra's test, Hassan. Don't forget Fatma Shetan's name. Of course, ma'am. Sweet auntie, look. Would this be all right? Yes, all right. And she said there is another one like this in case this is not enough. No, no, this is fine. Well, we should leave now and you can get to work, hmm? But where am I supposed to cook this? I mean, it won't fit on my stove here. Don't you have a gas tank? Take it outside, cook it there. Um, but I've given you all the solutions. Now you can make the soup, yes? Okay, all right, I'll do that. I'll talk to you in the morning. Okay, now let's edit this luggage jank and save you in my phone as jank. Hold on, wait. Did you really save me in your phone as luggage jank? I did. <laughs> and what did you save me as then? What would I save you as? Your name's Ozra, right? I saved you as Ozra. Well, then show me. <laughs> you don't believe me? I don't. Come on, show me. Come on, show me. All right. I'll take a look. I'm luggage? Really? You saved me as just luggage? <laughs> I was so angry. You should be happy. All I wrote is luggage. Okay. Luggage isn't there anymore. So, what are you thinking of doing? Are you planning on returning to the States? Actually, that was my intention. But something I can't quite name is keeping me here. He's not answering? I'd be okay with that. He declined it. John Sue? 
Well, so then, what are you planning to do? In the future, I mean. I don't know. Maybe we can make soup together. I mean, now that you've <laughs> trained me, so why not? Yeah, why not? What is this? I can smell it from the end of the street. Is this a soup kitchen? Shh, I'm talking to you, can't you enough hear? Enough is enough, enough. No one said anything about it. No one complained. It only annoys you, right? Only you. Oh, wow, girl. Do you trust that fancy friend of yours hanging around with this fancy car? Look, you watch your mouth. And what if I don't, huh? 